bit more. Ooh, I just a little bit. I know when he's gonna score. Hello. Hello, Jack. It's Chairman Dave. D- D- Dave, Big D, what what can I do for you? Lincoln City have been in touch. They ha- they have been in touch. Oh, okay. Yes, apparently you've interviewed with them. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I forgot, forgot to tell you. Forgot to tell you about that. Well, they've reached out to offer you the job and negotiate a compensation. Get in the, come on. So sorry. Uh, wow, really? Uh, that's uh. We've rejected their proposal. What? What? They weren't willing to meet our required wage compensation. What? Wait, did, so did you try Did you try negotiate with them? No, we don't negotiate with our rivals. D-Dog, D-Dog, look, this is a big opportunity, man. After everything I've done, we've done, look, together. No, Jack, you're here forever. I'm pretty sure you can't do that. No, but what if I resign? You, you won't do that. I will. Uh, you watch me, you watch me. Goodbye, Dave, take Jack, care. hold on, listen. I think we're going. I think I'm. I, I don't think I can. Don't think I can call him back now. We're gone. Gone. Goodbye, Boston. This. I'm scared now. This is big. What is going on, guys? Jack here, and welcome back to episode number one of Park to Prem here with Lincoln City. Everyone, it's a new chapter. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, Boston. What a fantastic little club, Boston United, a team that was my hometown, the team that were our local rivals of Lincoln City, and I've jumped across Lincolnshire to their fierce rivals. Does this make me a bad guy? Are we the baddies now? But yes, I have decided to move everyone, of course. We talked about it last episode. Boston United, a club who had been stuck in the Vanarama Regional Leagues for the past 10 years. We took them out of that league and put them in a great position, I really believe, to get promoted back to the Football League this season. But Lincoln City was just a really exciting project, a job I couldn't resist the urge to take over. And there is enough money in the bank and, you know, our status as a club is big enough that I'm pretty confident that in January, in just a week or two's time, We're going to be able to go out and sign a fair few of the Boston faithful, bring a few of the chaps along for the ride. That is certainly the aim. Now, of course, this is going to, I guess, rile some people up. I understand there are some people who are very attached to Boston United. What I would ask is that you come into this with an open mind with me. I know this is uncharted territory, perhaps even unfamiliar territory when it comes to one of my YouTube saves, but we are going to be making Lincoln City a new home. And in terms of as a story, this is as logical a move as you could expect. Managers in the past have moved between these two teams. You can see Boston United listed as a local rival. I've got a win over the fans here. They were laughing me off before I took the job. Much like Boston, I feel like we're in familiar territory. So today's episode is going to be a case of let's meet the squad, let's have a look at the league table and where things are at, and we'll work out how we are going to win our first game in charge, which is going to be against Northampton, who are a team who right now, where where are North? I feel like Northampton are quite good. Actually, they are struggling. They're down in 16th, winnable. And as you can see here, just a couple of days before we've taken over, um, Bradford beaten 5-3 by Lincoln as well. So hopefully we're coming into this with a little bit of momentum with the team. So I think the most logical starting point here actually is to load up our Boston system. You know, stick with what we know, especially in the lower leagues of English football like this. When a manager moves between clubs, very often they'll have a brand of football or a style of football they are associated with. For us, I think it is this 4 4 2 I'm going to level with you. Besides having a little bit of a look at the squad um, prior to taking the job, I've really not looked at it in too much detail. Um, I didn't want to get too fixated on the Lincoln job in case it didn't become available. Um, As I alluded to in the intro, I had a bit of a pickle, shall we say, when it came to moving clubs. And that was because the salary and wages that I was getting paid at Boston and the length of my contract meant that the compensation that Lincoln had to pay was hundreds of thousands of pounds and they didn't want to pay that. And uh, the clubs actually couldn't agree. I didn't realise this was a thing in game, but the, it came back to me and the Lincoln board were like, look, you need to sort it out with Boston United. So I was able to request that they lower the compensation or just get rid of it. And the board said no. So I resigned. So actually in our profile, it will show that we resigned as Boston United manager in order to take the Lincoln job. So if we don't get promoted this year and well, the board expectation, I believe, is to reach the playoffs this year. 
But if we don't, if we don't get promoted this year uh, and let Boston come up, expect some really spicy rivalry to be there. I think that could be really, really interesting. Just looking at the club, obviously we've got to use the club's youth system, make the most of set pieces. I might sign Quanza just for that. Don't sign players over 30. So a big focus on youth here at Lincoln City, which if the Boston United days are anything to go by, should be relatively straightforward and fairly familiar. Uh, and their current aims for the season reach League 2 playoffs. I actually upped the promise. They wanted kind of a um, top half finish. And I said, you know what? I reckon we can go towards the playoffs. Right now, it's coming up to the halfway point in the season. And we're six points away, predicted to finish in eighth at the start of the season. But I genuinely believe with a transfer budget of just shy of £2 million and a wage budget that is on the salary cap for this division with £5,000 spare, we should be really kicking on and really pushing on. So that, that's the aims today. Anyway, let's have a look at our squad, shall we? And the first thing and the thing that I love to see right away is our key player is a really good goalkeeper. We've got Kamil Miazek here, who is a Polish goalkeeper who... He's injury prone and consistent and hates big matches. Okay, it was it was looking far too good, wasn't it? I guess as a starting point, we'll put him in the team. He has a slight concern, wants to move to a bigger club. Well, it's a, it's a good start, everyone. Right, our next few players are actually some defenders. So we've got James Brown here, who is a right back. His contract expires at the end of the year. I already know that's going to be a sticking point to solve very, very quickly. And then we've got, oh my word, Con. Uh, Zuanindis, oh, Con Connor, Conu, Konzu, Con there's a nickname here, I need to come up with, I'll think of one, but for now we've got Con, he looks a bit like a Con really, because he looks great and then you realise there's ones everywhere, you, you'd be forgiven if you looked at the technicals for thinking he's some world class defender, and to be fair, he is very good at his defending, but he's not that good is he, considering he's one of our best players, how has he got a cap for Australia, I do not have a clue. Right, who else have we got here? Tommy White. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I feel like a lot of our players at Boston were a bit better than these players. But you know what? He'll do for now. We've then got Mo Adams, who looks like a really good defensive midfielder, actually. Although he can play a whole host of positions. So far, the team is fitting a 4-4-2, everyone. Which bodes well. Sean Rowan here can play left-back. Perfect. And, uh, well, this guy. We've not had an attacker yet. Are you our striker, Isaac? I don't think he is. He's a winger, isn't he? He looks pretty... Get him on the right wing. This is this is going very well. It's like a game of Jenga and everything fits in right now. That's not... Jenga doesn't work like that. Jenga, you're removing bits. What game... Do, it's like Tetris. It's like Tetris. You know, we've set it all up perfectly. Also, minor side tangent. If you've never seen, like, professional Tetris players, after this video's gone and done, mate, go watch some Tetris videos. It will blow your mind. I know what you're sat there thinking right now, Jack. You're talking about Tetris like it's incredible. It is. Um, why is there no left midfielder in this team? Why is there no left mid... There, there is no left midfielder. We've got Cranks. Now, actually, his name is Ollie Crankshaw. I've just called him Cranks. He, he crank, cranks it is. Ollie, you're injured. How long are you out for? Two to... Mm. Okay, so he's out for two to four months. Green is out on loan. Why are you on loan? I can't recall him outside the transfer window. Maybe we can in January. And then we've got Molyneux, who is a left mid technically. I mean, all I'm going to say is, if you look to this polygon, you're thinking he's a centre-back, aren't you? You're not, you don't look at that and go, left winger. You just, you do, he's got 17 jumping reach. He's almost 200 centimetres tall. But he is quite a good defender. I mean, learn to play centre-back, mate, and you've got a future there. In fact, he's already been trained at centre-back. Whoever the previous manager was, they knew what they were doing when it comes to the coaching. Right, so there's no left winger. We have got Farl here, who can play out on the left. Ah, do I want to go? I think we're going asymmetric, everyone. I don't think I've got a choice initially. I mean, is there... Is there I guess there's a fair few players who can play left attack in mid. Yeah, there is. Including Aloma... Ma, Alo, Olo Malola. <laughs> it's not that. That is a. It's a mouthful. Olo Mola Jack. Olo Mola. It's not. It's, it shouldn't be difficult. I make it difficult. Right. Where Where is he? Get him. Get him at left attacking mid. Was he left footed or right footed? I'm expecting him to be right. He is right. He looks pretty good. He look getting on inverted winger. He, he's an inverted winger in the making. Dare I say? And then we need some strikers. Who's getting the goals at the team right now? Farl, I mean, 
He just doesn't have any mentals, everyone. He's got flair and that's it, but he can run really, really quick. I mean, the fact that he is a decent player for National League sides, I think we may have identified the issue here at the club. They've not got a striker. We'll stick Farlin for now. And then I do, I do need another player here at striker. Kane Ridley. Ridley is a, a regen. Is he any good? I mean, he's not too bad, actually. At 17, he's got a little bit of potential. It's, it's not great, is it? Again, national, north or south quality. Hmm. This is a weird team. It's a weird... The, the defence looks great. The defence is more than sorted, but there is a lack of players going forward, which I do feel like could be an issue here. But we, we've got money to spend, which is the main thing. We've got money to spend. Right. I mean, right now I'm looking at the Miyazek in goal and then the kind of defence and thinking. Defence is good. Everything else needs some work. Our first game is against Northampton. Do I have any staff? I don't have an assistant manager. You know what? Before we jump forward to match day, let, let's find ourselves an assistant manager, everyone. There's got to be someone out there. We're looking for a new assistant. Sorry, John. I said I was getting rid of John after the first season. I feel like this is a very important appointment. I want this to be someone who's going to follow me around for years. I need a right-hand man. You know, every, every world-class manager, they have that man who stands by their sides. He's really good. I don't recognise any of these. I want a recognisable name. Is that bad? Um, I'll tell you what. I'm going to add a condition here, and you might say this has nothing to do with your skill as a, as a player or as an ass as assistant manager. I want them to have one international cap. Joaquim. I mean, Joaquim could be a cool assistant manager. Do you reckon he's heard of Lincoln? I don't think he will have done. You know what? Do you, do you want to join me? I, I feel like me and him, we'd get on like... He wants to be an under-18s coach. No. Assistant manager, mate. Come here. Three-year deal. Join me. We're going on an adventure together. He's buzzing for it. He's well excited. Spanish international straight away. Maybe I should just get a staff kind of set up that's just full of famous kind of players. We need a coach. I've found a coach, everyone. Egda Davids. Yes. Absolutely. This is... What could this look? He, he's actually a good coach as well. To be fair, like he's he's actually good for this level. He's good everywhere. Edgar David at Lincoln. Oh my! This is the dawning. This is a new dawn. The fans are gonna love me. And before we go any further, I've had the youth intake preview. Everyone, look at this golden generation. I mean, can it live up to Sam York? Absolutely not. Can I dream of it living up to Sam York? Yes, yes, I can. Look at all this money. Look, at, we're going to have a great time in January. I'm very, very excited. We can't play our 4 4 2 yet. I've discovered my centre backs hate each other. I've got a game in two days. Let's go do it. Northampton, bring it on. Jack, just, just give a good first impression. Make them all happy. Uh, I want to introduce myself. They they love it. They love me. Con I've not come up with a name for Con yet. I want to give you for chance. They love me. They love that I'm saying all the right things right now. That's enough promises for now. Um, you know what? Playoffs or top half? Playoff. I've promised the board playoffs. They originally wanted top half. I'm going with playoffs. They they love it. They ambition. This is what we need. This is what we. I love it. Oh my word! This is. I can't believe how great it's going. This is a great response. Thank you. Okay, I've ballsed up every one of those I've done all year so far in Football Manager. The one that I needed to do well, I've done well. Come on, Northampton, bring it on. I'm pretty nervous for this. I want to leave a good first impression. Just want to cover a couple of things because as you do, you, t you stop recording, you go forward a couple of days, you notice some things. Firstly, Thal, who I've kind of laughed off and said he's not very good, currently top goal scorer in this division. I think it goes to show that pace is really important in the match engine this year, at least at the time of recording. And He's very, very quick for this level. But who knows? Maybe he can keep the goal scoring going. And uh, I don't mean to make negative observations about this team and how it's built. But there's no left backs. The, we have Dominic Bernard here. He's leaving in like two weeks. So no point in having him in the team. So if we just look at squad depth here, the, there's there's no left backs. There's no We've got loads of centre backs, loads of centre mids. Just the left-hand side doesn't exist. You could argue that, you know, this is a right-winged team right now, dare I say. And I, I need to bring balance to it all. But yeah, the more, the more I look at this team, the more I'm like, this is a mess. I mean, striker-wise, I guess they were playing one striker before because 
they don't really have any good attackers. And the good attackers they do have, I'm playing out on the wings in the case of Olamola. Yeah, it's... I expect changes. We've got the money to make changes. Expect them. This is the team for today's game. It's a mishmash of players. I've re reviewed things. I've given him the nickname Cons. I know. I'm really imaginative with these nicknames. With Con Azumanidis. I don't that's just doesn't sound right it sounds like i'm in some kind of pain he's called cons everyone it was just the, it was the easiest name and alongside him we've got badgerami which is a really catchy name and there's definitely like a theme tune or a song around it i was thinking it could be like the macarena but instead of going hey macarena it's like hey badgerami but i don't i don't speak the language that the macarena's in for all the other lines so i don't know how that would work as a chant either way away from home against northampton one of a few games before i can really put my own stamp on this squad I will be honest and say we go into this and it is just a little bit of a mess, but it's a mess that we are more than ready and in a position to clean up. If we can get some results before January, that would be great. Northampton, a few positions behind us in the league. Lincoln coming off the back of a pretty big win in their previous match. We're bringing the flavour of Boston to Lincoln. Let's, let's see if we can keep it going. I want you to carry on from last game. Last game they won before I took over. Yes, it's a changing system, but a lot of the same personnel featuring. And in a rather fetching green kit, we take to the field. And I'm, I'm just excited to be here, everyone. We're in the Football League. It's not quite sunk in yet. I, I can imagine coming out and the away fans booing me. You know, there's a there's a feeling of discontent towards me. Good, good news, everyone. Cons has got booked early on, leading by example the captain. Let's hope the defence stay solid at the back. I, I did look through just the league table and Lincoln haven't got the best defence. They've not really got the best attack. They've kind of just been a bit average everywhere. So we need to get them out of averageness. A win here is what we need really. And at half time, it's nil-nil. Nothing's happened. Well, but I'm bringing exciting football. That's all you can really say. I'm not happy with the performance. The good news is... My shouty shoutiness is translating over to the players. It's a universal language getting shouty shouty. And Miazek makes a good save. I'm hoping there's more to the highlight than that. Otherwise, the cameraman's fallen asleep and he's just kind of woken up as they've had a shot on our goal. Ball forward here. Let's zoom in a little more. I guess that's Scotty Pollock, former hashtag United centre mid there playing for Northampton. Not happy about that. I did notice as well in our squad, we've got Salt, who was a centre mid we had on loan at Boston in the first season. Uh, I think he played something like six games for us in on loan. He's going to be delighted to see me. Falls through. Fall! Oh, he could, he could have extended his lead to the record goal scorer. I mean, we've seen there. He's got the pace to get in behind. Finishing slightly non-existent. But we've got more chances here. Brown, the right back, tries to get it into the mixer. Wren blocks it. I want a win in our first game. I, a point would be good. A win would be better. Olomola. I pause for a second every time I want to say his name. It's a scary name that I'm worried I'm going to get wrong. We've got a chance. We've got a goal. We've got Olamola on one side and Ola Ofi on the other. There's lots of Olas going on in this team. They're going to need nicknames. Isaac, lovely goal. Goal number three for the season. We're winning. We're winning our first game. This would be a really nice start. I'm pretty sure he is our right winger. Maybe this is why they don't have anyone on the left. They just use all the good players on the right. Isaac. We'll go We'll go with Isaac. It's going to be easier for everyone. Right. Set piece to defend. We're good at scoring set pieces at Boston. The board do expect us to be lethal from set pieces. I'm hoping that that's going to translate over, you know? My set pieceness. Is that, is that an attribute that you can claim to have set pieceness? Don't think so. Glover on the right hand side. Let's keep it firm now. We've taken the lead. We've worked hard for it. Huge block by Badgerami. Or Badgerami. I'm adding an extra R in there. Tell you what, if I was picking a team based on names that are easy to say, I wouldn't have gone to Lincoln. But here we are. I'm testing myself. That's the biggest test of all, really. Brown heads it away. Tell you what, Farl's going to get there. He's quick, isn't he? Look at him go. Run like the wind, Farl. Run. Scotty, give him a yellow card ref. No, not, not happening. Rem bringing it forward for them. Just, just loads of players running with the ball. Stop him. Stop him. Miazek holds on to it. Apparently Miazek wants to move clubs. Well, he's, got, he's, he's made saves so far, so I can't really knock him. But I'm expecting big things if he thinks he deserved it of a move to a bigger club. Cons, heads just wide of the post. And now we're gone. And you may have noticed when I was showing the team, 
On the bench, we've not really got many attacking options. It's a lot of defenders. There aren't many plan Bs going forward. Thal. Back to White. Now with Brown. What can the right back do? Inside to White. This is nice build at play. This is Boston-esque. I probably shouldn't say that. It's probably offensive. James Brown scored. I mean, Lions would never. James Brown take about 2-0 up. Northampton away. Completed it, mate. Easy. E e never in doubt. Look at this. I mean, Hector Davids is going to be watching this on his TV and thinking, yeah, this is the club for me. We're, we're impressing. Going to make Lincoln into a sexy club with lots of appeal. So yeah, options that we've got in the match. We've got Tom Molyneux we could bring on. He's the centre-back who thinks he's a midfielder. Ben Saltz, the guy who I didn't play when I loaned him. He's not very good, to be honest. We have got Nyarko, who's probably our best attacking player on the bench. Again, he's just really, really quick, which I don't know if that's what you need at this level. I think to an extent it does. You know what? We'll bring him on. And Mo Adams has got a book in. Finney, are you good defensively? Not really. Do we have a, We must have a good defensive mid in air somewhere. Hayden can. Can he do it? Yes, he can. He can't play defensive mid, but he can play centre back and centre mid. No, it doesn't, doesn't make sense, that. There is no way a player could play centre-back and centre-mid, but you put him in centre-defensive mid and he goes, what's this? This is this is new. And that's not, not how professional footballers work, football manager. Either way, 10 minutes left. Two goal cushion still exists, but Northampton on the attack. Hutchinson's there. Huge save by Miazek. You know what? I'll take it back, mate. You're a god. I'm not selling him. Corner to deal with. Badger, Badgerami. I've almost said Badgerami again. It's Badgerami, Jack. Olamola, run! Look at him go. We're just a team full of pacey attackers and some good defenders. I'm excited to bring some Boston players over. If there's any Boston players you would be taking over, who would it be and why? I, I want to know down in the comments. Glover, bringing it forward. Stop him. Stop him. Tries to get it in. Blocked. Switched over. Now we're Judd, who dinks it. Ren has got through a few times. Miasek makes an up. He's a god! He's an absolute god in goal. He didn't know it was offside. Oh, I'm going to just encourage. What a performance. They've all got unhappy. Right, note to self, these boys, they, they just want to be shouted at angrily. 2-0, though. What a good little win. Wasn't the best of performances. They probably had the better chances, but we knew how to score. And my leadership and my reign here at Lincoln City starts with a win. And we're only five points away from the playoffs now. The target is there. The money is there to spend in January. And the last two games that we've got of the year look pretty winnable. So I'm feeling good. Maybe this is the time to start springing together a really good run. And Northampton, unbeaten in 12 games at home before that. Sorry. I mean, they did not show that kind of quality against us there. We crushed that unbeaten run. Now, now we just have to keep it going. Look at... Look at mm. I mean, the fact we've now got two wins in a row, I can't really take credit for the Bradford one, but certainly the Northampton one I can. Those two wins and the draw against Accrington, that is what we need more of. Not this, whatever this is. It is worth noting, you might be sat there thinking, is there FA Cup football to look forward to? No, there's not. No, we're not in anything. It's just the league to focus on for the rest of the year, which is probably for the best in truth. But anyway, I think that wraps up what's been a pretty successful first episode. We brought in... Well, we're trying to bring in some staff members. We've got a pretty good squad. I like the team already. Miyazek is insane. Apparently, our hot prospect is Ryan Welsh. I've not looked at him yet. I'm disappointed he's English with a last name of Welsh, but that just makes no sense. I'm upset. I might just call him Ryan English. Is that Ryan English? Just nickname him Ryan English. Why not? Right, we'll solve that next time. I guess when we'll be back, we'll be in the transfer market. We'll be making some moves. As I said during the match, let me know who you would sign from Boston and before we go, you know what? Let's just have let's have a little look at where we've left. Boston United, we will keep an eye on, of course, this year. They, I'm sure, are going to be targeting promotion. Right now, they're three points behind Yeovil, but with superior goal difference. Have they got a replacement for me yet? No. Steve Welsh, who was one of the coaches at the club, he's currently caretaker manager. I mean, they're now playing a 4-2-3-1. It just upsets me. He's playing Jonas and Bennett in the middle. Quanta isn't even... Right, we're going for Quantzer and Jack. I'm going to go and save Quantzer. Until then, it's me, Jack. I'm out. What is the Steve? We're going to have to have... You've ruined it. You've ruined my legacy. I hope you're happy.